Zivis! Welcome back to day 18 of our 30 days of healthy eating and living series. I'm Zung and today I'm gonna share a savory breakfast oatmeal. On the overnight oats video, many of you said that you don't like sweets for breakfast and you wanted to get my take on a savory oatmeal. I thought that's really interesting because I love savory oatmeal. It reminds me a lot of congee. Today I'm gonna sneak some veggies in early in the morning and it's gonna be so savory and delicious. The best way to start the day. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you wanna see the rest of our 30 days of healthy eating and living series and give me a thumbs up if you're also into savory breakfast. Oatmeal to be precise. We'll go ahead and get started with sauteing our veggies. In a small skillet, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil and let the pan get hot. Once the olive oil is heated, I'm gonna add half of a portobello mushroom that I've already sliced. I'll saute it for maybe two to three minutes until it gets nice and soft. And then I'll add two cups of chopped kale. I'll saute that for another minute or two. And then I'm gonna add some seasoning. Here I'm adding about one tablespoon of soy sauce just to create a very light, savory sauce for the veggies. And that's it. Ah, oh, this smells so good. And this is all I need to do to the veggies. I'm gonna set it aside and then we're gonna cook our oatmeal. For the oatmeal, it's really quite simple. Just how you typically cook oatmeal. Here I have one cup of rolled oats. If you want it to go faster, go ahead and use quick oats but I like rolled oats, it just tastes a little bit more nutty. I'll add it to my pan, and then I'll add two and a quarter cups of water. If you want your oatmeal to be a little more thick, then just add two cups, but I like it more on like the runny, soft side. Also, if you want more flavor to the oatmeal, totally you can use vegetable stock or chicken broth. I'll cook it on medium-high heat for about five to 10 minutes until the oatmeal's fully absorbed and perfect. I also like to add maybe half a teaspoon of kosher salt just to amp up the flavor. All right guys, while that's cooking, I just wanted to take a minute to get real here. So yesterday I had to bring Erisi on to the show because she, I've just been struggling so much with her and just getting her back onto a sleep schedule. We used to film while she was napping and just the past week or so, she just has not been napping and I just don't know how to get her back on that schedule. Sleep training has been proven to be really difficult, especially at night. I felt like this week was the hardest week since having her. I know like the first month after having Erisi, I was just not getting any sleep, just waking up around the clock to feed. Um, and that happened again this week. So I'm really struggling with trying to get her back onto the schedule and just getting her happy again. So if you guys have any recommendations or what you think I could do, I would welcome all the advice. But yeah, I know I know parenting has its challenge and this is yet another one. I feel like she's going through a leap or something. Um, last week she started standing up in the crib and it was really fun to see but also a little terrifying as well because now I just have to always keep a closer eye on her making sure like she doesn't fall or get into things and we're starting to baby proof the house too. So that's another uh, phase in parenthood. It's, it's been really fun though, and I really can't wait until she is old enough to be my little sidekick sous chef. It's gonna be so fun cooking with her. Okay, this is starting to boil. So I'll just give it a stir and it'll come together in probably about five minutes. When you're making oatmeal, you don't have to babysit it, but it's important to kind of stir it around every so often so that the oats don't stick to the bottom of the pot and burn. I like the consistency of my oatmeal like this because as you pour it out and it cools, it tends to get thicker and I don't like that. This looks perfect, so I'm gonna take it off here and show you how I serve it. With my oatmeal, I'll just divide it into two bowls. One for me, 
one for Nate. All right, now I'm gonna add our veggies on top. Good old kale and mushrooms. Nate doesn't like mushrooms, so more for me. But as you can see, when I set the veggies aside, it extracted a little bit of the juice when it cooled down. So I'm just gonna add it to the oatmeal and then I'm also gonna add a tiny little more soy sauce to each bowl. Mushrooms are like sponges where it just soaks up all the flavor and sauce. So I need a little bit extra. And finally, the piece de resistance. I've already cooked up some soft boiled eggs. If you guys wanna learn how to make these soft boiled eggs, I have a video on that. And depending on how you like it, soft boiled, hard boiled, runny boiled, I have it all. So I'll link it in the end card um, later. But I'm just gonna crack it and add it to the bowl. Peeling hard boiled eggs can sometimes be a challenge, so I always make sure to crack the bottom where the air bubbles at and then peel it off from there. If you steam your eggs though, it's a lot easier to peel than if you were to boil it in water. If I said hard boiled earlier, I meant soft boiled. You just have to be very, very ginger when peeling the shells. But let me go ahead and cut it open for you so you can see the egg just ooze out. All right, let's give it a try. I almost want to say this is better than any sweet oatmeal that I've ever had. This is amazing. The creaminess from the egg that just oozes out creating this beautiful like eggy sauce paired with the umaminess from the portobello mushrooms and kale and the oatmeal is just perfectly cooked. I could definitely eat this every morning and feel good. It's like a energizing meal. If kale and portobello mushrooms aren't your thing, then I have another savory oatmeal that I did last year using cheddar cheese, bacon, and eggs. That one is pretty bomb too. I hope you guys liked today's episode. Again, be sure to let me know what kind of dishes you want to see by commenting below and we will be back for day 19 tomorrow, which I'm thinking I will make a healthy green smoothie. I haven't done that in a while and I love coming up with different varieties of smoothies. So be sure to tune in on that and I will see you tomorrow.